everybody, Breely Sin is back with another video, and I've been gone for a while, but that probably doesn't really matter. Um, <clears throat> so I decided that I haven't been playing university in a while, and I really wanted to, but I've been gone because I'm trying to update my computer, I'll update all the, the expansion packs and stuff like that, and I try to reinstall it so I can get, so I can fix what was wrong with it, because I told you guys that I was having problems with it, um, when I was playing these games so um, I finally updated it but my computer was wasn't taking the update the right way and so that's why I, I, I finally have it fixed now so um, <clears throat> expect for me to be back and to start doing my videos again but I decided to do um, this this build is a little different I decided to do a two-in-one it's not really a the other one's not really a build but I did fix up Lily's dorm room and I put that in this video in case you guys were wondering because I hated the way this house looked I tried to um just leave this this house the way it was and just fix it up but I really really did not like the shape of it or anything about it I, I hated how it looked like it was turned the wrong way so I I left it the same shape but I added on to it a little bit and um as you saw I turned the house so that the that it's the side of it is facing the front and I got rid of the roof and did different roofing on it and everything because the house is just I don't know <laughs> it seems like the Sims 4s get worse when it comes to building houses maybe it's because they know that we're going to um, fix them up but it's it's sad like this house was I don't I don't I don't even want to talk about it that's how bad it was <laughs> this house was horrible but um, I fixed it up and I think I did a pretty good job. Um, I don't know, I've never really built a house on my own as much as I usually use a blueprint to build my houses because, you know, I'm not into architect or whatever, blueprinting or whatever that career is. That's, <laughs> I don't do that, I've never been to college for that. So I just like <laughs> decorating interior. I like interior design. I don't know anything about building houses. So um, this was what sometimes I do. I don't know, Blue just decided to build a house and usually I don't like the way it looks. This house is a little different. Um, it reminds me more of like a cottage style home and I, I it came out okay. I'm not going to, I mean, I guess I, I like it. It's cute, but I don't know. It's just different from usually how I build houses because, you know, there's no blueprint, but I wanted to oh, have the windows open, add a little more character to the house and the people in there. Um, I just thought it would be cute to have the windows open and I tried to stay with the, the theme of the house. Um, I can't really remember what it was now. <laughs> I think it was uh, I, a panel. I can't remember what it used to look like, so never mind. I guess I didn't go with the theme of the house. Um, they didn't have anything to match that. So, you know, it's two different panels, but it didn't match. It doesn't, they don't have anything to match the one at the bottom. So it's coming around cute though. I went with blue and gray on the outside and on the inside is like like a lot of blacks and grays because this is um D'Angelo and Aldo's house. So um usually when men like to decorate, usually not all men, just usually, they like to keep it simple and symmetric with lots of gray tones and black tones, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with having a a black house what's what's you know uh what other color would there be to choose you know <laughs> if it's i mean my favorite two colors are black and green but <clears throat> if i'm not gonna do green it's definitely gonna be black so i had no problem doing designing their house but i try to keep it the um, interior design very modern and sleek because that's how a lot of men like to decorate and it's not fully it's furnished but it's not like you know, they don't have everything in there because it is just, you know, he has college funds and, you know, he had a certain amount of money and I didn't give him any money or any cheats to build this house. I just used the money that he had and, um, you know, I just went with it. So it's really cute. It's actually a really, really cute house. So I just, I guess I changed my mind. It's really cute. And, um, it's a two bedroom, one, uh, his bedroom and, um, Aldo's bedroom. And... Uh, yeah, the downstairs is just the living room and the kitchen, and upstairs is the bathroom and the bedroom and um, Aldo's bedroom, the master bedroom, and then the other bedroom, which is pretty small, but, you know, he's just a toddler. He doesn't need anything too big, and I ran out of money before I could do, like, 
the um, the plant the planting um, the plants on the outside sorry um, so it's not really there's not really much going out there I kept the same tree just put it on the other side and um, I decided to keep the stairs because I didn't want to change too much about it I just changed it so um, yeah I, I love to use arches all the time so usually in my builds I tend to have a lot of arches in my stuff because I really like arches I think they're really cool but oh that reminds me uh, that doesn't remind me of anything but my mind likes to jump like I told you guys before and um, I don't know if you guys saw the Spongebob play but that play I need to buy it on Amazon I think it's like like 99 cents or like 75 cents or something like that on Amazon if you guys have not seen that Spongebob play yet what are you waiting for I mean I, I, I didn't go and see it I saw I caught it from home because they were gonna show it I'm a diehard Spongebob fan been watching it since the show debuted and I haven't stopped watching it since there are a couple seasons in there that you know make me sick like the Viking seasons and stuff like that that those those make me sick but I'm a big kid at heart so yeah I'm gonna watch cartoons I like cartoons I enjoy cartoons got a problem I don't care I'm just <laughs> But um, I watched the SpongeBob play, and it was everything to me, and more. Um, I loved it so much. I haven't loved that since I don't know. It's just this last season of SpongeBob has been really good. I don't know if it's because the creator passed, and this was. I hope it's not the last season, but it's been a really, really good, good season with SpongeBob and. The show's been out for almost 20 years, and well, the show has been out for 20 years. It debuted in 1999. I feel like it came out in 2000, but I I guess it came out in 1999. Show's been out for 20 years, and it's just a really good show. So I enjoy SpongeBob. Um, I use references to that show on an everyday basis because it's one of my favorite shows. Um, but that it was it was a really good play, and I advise for anybody who hasn't seen it to go check it out and watch it. And uh, maybe even if the show's coming to town, get some tickets because it was really good and I really enjoyed it. It was so cute and so fun. And I can't wait to watch the SpongeBob movie coming out in 2020. That's going to be everything to me. Patrick is so cute in that sweater. <laughs> um, but I feel like it's a little redundant of the Where's Gary, kind of like the, the the movie when you know he lost Gary. But you know, I like how the kitchen came out. It was really nice. Um, you know, I, I threw some browns in there. You know, keep it, like, modern toned home. You know, there's not going to be too much of a pop of color. The only room that really has color is Aldo's room because he's a baby. And I feel like babies shouldn't have black and white rooms because it takes away from the creativity and, you know, and all of that. So, uh, sorry, I was just, I have chowder on in the background. And um, what's her name? The lady from the Powerpuff Girls? I can't remember her name. Miss Bellum. She's in it. That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> uh, why is she in... Why is Miss Bellum in Chowder? That's interesting. That black line is from the roof. I just moved it back so it's not in the way. And um, I like his I like his room. It, there's not too much in there. Just his bed in a closet, basically. And um, some stuff. I made that his, um, his side tables mitch match because he's a college student. So, you know... Things ain't cheap these days. <laughs> so they're not really bedside, you know, they're not nightstands. They're just like bedside tables. So, you know, <laughs> and I, I don't remember, um, I put a picture on the wall, um, some, some hip hop art, some black art. I don't really remember what it is. I know it's somebody getting braids, but I can't remember. It's something from 1994. I can't remember. And I didn't know what I wanted to do for the bathroom, so I just threw some stuff in there. I didn't put any pictures on the wall until um, I was done decorating the room because I'm running out of funds, and you know, things ain't cheap these days, so. <laughs> but he is in college, so he's going to have to buy books and, and stuff, so you know. <laughs> you need to keep it in to keep the coins, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I think Aldo's room came out pretty cute. Um, I didn't really have a hard time with this build. Um, I think it took me three hours to do when I was um, editing the video. I think it said three hours. The longest part in this video was determining what kind of blinds I wanted to put. I cut all that out. That took about close to an hour because you know I'm very I'm very indecisive, so it's really hard for me to make decisions on things all the time. And um, 
<clears throat> so it took me a while to figure out what shades I wanted. So I just went with blinds because, you know, they're cheap and they are all the same. Um, I need some more curtains in The Sims 4 because I'm, I'm lacking on them. Curtains and carpets. Curtains and carpets. <laughs> I need some more of those because it's, it's like, it's dead. It's dead in my game. It's dead. Um, I tried to put some, I just put them over the windows that were open. Um, I may get on some of your nerves, some of you guys' nerves. It gets on my nerves, but, you know, they didn't have anything shorter. And, you know, you're going to have blinds on windows that are open, so there you go. Um, now I'm going in putting pictures and accessories around. I put a lot of toy. I went through back in and put a lot of toys around because, like you, like you guys know, this is a, a university let's play. So there's going to be like he has a kid, so you know there's going to be toys around. He's not going to really have a lot of time to pick up their stuff. Um, when I was in college, I didn't have a lot of time to pick up my dog's stuff, and their stuff was tend to be all over the place. But you know, <laughs> it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. So there I am putting some artwork in, Louisiana, that pictures of Louisiana artwork, and then that. I don't know what it is, but, you know, put some black art in there. Um, and then I put another picture over there. You know, something that I feel like a modern guy would have in his house. I don't know. I'm not a modern guy. And I put his little desk over there so he can do some classwork. I don't know if they need computers, but I put... Um, some stuff over there so he can do some classwork and get stuff done. Um, and put a little seating area over there, you know, a little, little mud room spot. Not a whole mud room, but a little mud room spot. And overall, I like the interior of this build. I think it's really nice. It's really, really pretty. And I feel like I would live here myself. Put a little bag over there so you can go shopping and saving the ozone layer by not using any plastic bags, which I advise. We have a lot of bags, a lot of bags in my house. We had these really, really huge ones from BJ's. Anyways, I like to use that um, shopping bag, you know, make it seem like he could, doesn't really have a lot of time to put stuff away. So um, I put the shopping bag on the counter and size it up. It's, I don't like how big it is, but I don't like how small it is. So I just want the big one, you know. I feel like they when you size things up in The Sims 4, there's like, a size that's missing so sometimes it goes from extremely small to extremely large and it's just like you need something you need that middle the median where's the medium where's that <laughs> but you know I just put some toys over there everywhere and I think it makes it look really cute and add some characteristic characteristics to it um, put some bottles around because he is a toddler so and now I'm going in putting in a little decoration and whatnot in there I'm um, trying to keep it friendly in there because, you know, he's a dad, so. Yeah, I put the little, um, I always use that because in my house we had something similar to that in, um, in the dining, in the little, um, what's that place called? The, the breakfast nook, and so I always use that. And now I'm decorating the hallway, which is still empty um, after I finish it because, you know, running low on the dough. But I did manage to put some toys in there and a little bit of stuff, so. It just looks like, you know, no one really goes in there. Which is true, because nobody really goes in hallways. They're kind of, you know. So. I decided to get rid of that, because I didn't like the way that looked. It was taking up too much space. And I think that's it for his his place. Oh, I put a bike outside. A little bit of transportation. And I think that's it. <clears throat> and now I'm in Lily's room. And um, I didn't know what I wanted to do for Lily's, Lily's side of the dorm, but... I ended up figuring it out. I went with yellow and and I kept it brown. I didn't do I don't know if I want to build the whole university over, but I didn't I didn't do that because I just didn't, you know, I haven't done it yet. I don't know if I'm gonna do it, but I haven't done it yet. And so I had fun decorating Lily's side of the room because, you know, um it was free. I tried not to get the most well, I tried not to go over get like do a lot with it, but you know. I did um, use a cheat to decorate the inside of um, the university. So if you guys are wondering how I did that, there's a cheat for it. And so I used that cheat. So her room, I, I picked the bumblebee bed bedding because I've never used it. I guess I forgot to edit all this out. <laughs> I used the bumblebee um, bedding because I thought that was cute and I've never used it. So I just went with yellow and blue in her room. 
and it came out really really cute um she looks like you know a college college girls living there not quite an adult but not quite a teen just a college young adult well younger than a young adult is what i would say but young adult and um what was i gonna say i was gonna say something i can't remember oh um i did ended up i thought i was going to change the size of her room um push her her um, roommate stuff back and um make her side of the room bigger because i wanted to fit the microwave in there because in my let's play uh, if you guys haven't seen it go check them out they're fun they're everything um in my let's play she bought a microwave so i decided to put the microwave in her room it's not the one that she bought i'm just gonna sell it microwave in her inventory because um, I can't place it anywhere and I know it's just gonna end up <sighs> excuse me that yarn came from out of nowhere um I know it's just gonna end up like outside the place and she couldn't use it anyways because there is no micro there is no um refrigerator you need a refrigerator if you're gonna have a um uh um a microwave but what I ended up doing is I thought I was going to use a counter and I couldn't use, I'll just, when I get to there, I'll talk about it. I put the baby Yoda in there because I thought it, you know, they, they put it in the game for only the universe knows why. So I decided to put it in her room because it was such a big deal for that update to have another update just to put baby Yoda in there. So I just put, put it in the room. I wanted to, I've, I've always wanted to watch Star Wars, but I just can't find the time to watch it. I felt like I would really enjoy it though. Um, Cause you know, what's not to like about the galaxy. So I feel like I would really like enjoy Star Wars, but I just haven't found the time to watch all 1000 of the movies, you know? <laughs> I don't know how you Star Wars fans do it. You probably have started since birth, but I just don't have the time to sit there and watch a thousand movies that are five hours each. I just, <laughs> I'm just joking to all my, my Star Wars fans. I put a lava lamp in there because I was telling my sister that one time for Christmas, I was telling my parents how much I wanted a lava lamp and um, I never got one. <laughs> but instead for Christmas, my sister got the lava lamp, which she never asked for. And I was really, really upset about it. And what did I get when I opened it up? I got a sparkle lamp. What is a sparkle lamp? And it wasn't even my favorite color, it was purple. And it was just like this lamp that moves that moves sparkles around on the inside. And I used to use it all the time and I would just stare at it because what? <laughs> Why a sparkle lamp? How come I couldn't get a lava lamp too? And I'm still bitter about it because I've always wanted a lava lamp and I never got one. And I just, I, mean, I always think about how my sister got a lava lamp and she never asked for it. And I just, I don't, I don't get it. I just really don't get it. So, um, you know, I still don't have one and I would still like to have one. So I put a lava lamp in her room because lava lamps are cool and they've always been cool to me and they'll always be cool forever. So this is the part where I was trying to find um, <clears throat> the uh, counter space to put there. And I didn't know what I wanted to do because I couldn't fit anything over there. So I just decided to, um, as you guys, you guys are going to see my video end, but um, I decided to fix it up and I got rid of the counter and I just put the refrigerator in there because I, I found out that you can't have a, a microwave that refrigerator like i told you but the refrigerator stock the microwave stacks on top of the refrigerator so that's good extra space and in my screenshot so you guys are gonna see that my sim uh her arm is weird because of her shirt so you guys are wondering why my screenshot looks like that because i got lazy and i didn't feel like changing the shirt and it was late and i've been working on this all day and i just wanted to put it out so <laughs> her arm is up it's weird i know it's weird um but i guess this is I'm coming towards the end of my video, so... Oh no, I forgot to pull my thing back up. One moment, guys. I don't know why I always forget. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to share this video with everyone that you know. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you can be the first to know every time I upload one of my um, videos. And have a very scary day. I love you guys. Uh, bye bye